Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, we will look at few options provided to manage and troubleshoot while you access Tally Prime from anywhere, anytime on Amazon Web Server. We will look at troubleshooting of installation and also the troubleshooting options to repair company data, reset secure pin, force quit Tally Prime, DCV connection settings in virtual computer and further troubleshooting from self-service portal. We will also look at options to manage screen size and resolution. The virtual machine provided to access Tally Prime from anywhere at any time is maintenance free and flexible. The entire setup comes with troubleshooting and administration options that enable you to fix interruptions faced while using Tally Prime. Installation of Virtual Computer Connection During Virtual Computer Connection client installation, all the required components such as Microsoft .NET Framework 4.6.2 and Microsoft Visual C++ 14.29 are installed. In case the components are not installed due to environmental issue, then the client is not installed. We recommend you to download these components manually using the link shown and install the components one by one. Once you install these components successfully, you can proceed to install Virtual Computer Connection Client. Reset Secure Pin In case you have missed your secure pin, then reset secure pin. Enter TallyNet ID and password. You will receive one-time temporary pin. When you log in using one-time pin, the change secure pin screen is displayed where you can change the pin. DCV connection settings. You can configure a proxy to connect to your virtual computer. In some cases, the DCV is not able to connect to your virtual computer and the error, unable to connect network error appears. This happens when you are connecting to internet using a proxy. To overcome this, you have to configure the proxy details in your virtual computer connection client. Use the DCV connection settings to configure the proxy. Open virtual computer connection, click on DCV connection settings. Select the required proxy method and enter the proxy details. In case of any connectivity issue, to access the virtual computer, then lcom.digital and other LCOM web page related domains need to be whitelisted in your firewall settings. Zero command restart. If you are facing a situation where data is showing errors and fails to open, you may want to repair the data using zero command. By default, command prompt is disabled in the virtual computer. However, an option to open Tally Prime with zero command repair is provided in the virtual computer. Click the start icon situated in the bottom left corner of the DCV. Select troubleshooting and then click on Tally Prime with zero command repair. This will open Tally Prime application with zero command. It shows list of companies in the select company screen. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus R to change menu as repair. Select the company which you want to rewrite or press F1, Help, Troubleshooting, Repair and select the company which you want to rewrite. You will now be able to open the data and work. Force Quit Tally Prime In case you come across a situation where Tally Prime is not responding and you want to close the application, you can force quit Tally Prime using the option provided in the DCV. Click the start icon situated in the bottom left corner of the DCV. Select troubleshooting and then click force quit Tally Prime. This will close Tally Prime. You can double click the Tally Prime icon on the virtual computer to open it again. Restart computer. The DCV is a facilitating system that comes with its own software and updates. In case there is any update available, 
you will need to restart the computer to apply the system updates. This is similar to process used to update our personal computers. To restart the computer, click the start icon situated in the bottom left corner of the DCV. Select troubleshooting and then click restart computer. Send diagnostics. In case you face any difficulties while working on virtual computer, then use this feature to generate log file of services related to virtual computer and share with support team for further analysis. Click the start icon. Select troubleshooting and then click send diagnostics. This will create the zip file under my files export. Look for the file name Diag Files. It will have the date and time stamp. You can share this file with support team for further analysis. System information. You can check the properties of the virtual computer, such as the computer name, RAM, storage, OS version and so on. To get these details, click the start icon situated in the bottom left corner of the DCV. Click system information. The computer information and environment details are displayed. Press Escape to close or click the Close button. Restart Virtual Office from Self-Service Portal. In case you are not able to access your virtual computer or virtual machine and status shows as error or if you face any difficulties while working on the virtual computers, you can restart your virtual machine. This action will restart all the services of your virtual machine. Log into self-service portal using your TallyNet credentials and secure pin. Click on action, restart your virtual office. This will restart all the users virtual computers which is associated to the virtual machine. Adjusting screen resolution. You can change the screen resolution of virtual computer. The default resolution is based on the resolution of your local system. It will automatically fit to your local screen resolution. To change the resolution, click the settings icon. You can select any resolution from the given list. Based on the selected resolution, the size of the virtual computer is changed. As you see here, you can also choose adapt automatically to set the screen resolution based on the current resolution of the local computer being used to access the virtual computer. Full screen mode. You can further expand the screen size by using the full screen mode. This will help you take out the tools section at the top of the window and only view the virtual computer. If you want to use the tools, just hover the mouse toward the top and the tools option will drop down. Notification window. Notification is displayed when you upload any files to virtual computer from local computer and download any files from virtual computer to local computer. In case the download or upload of the file fails, then notification window shows an error message. For example, if you try to upload the file in the root folder, then an error message is shown in notification window. As we saw, managing and troubleshooting options are by default provided in the virtual computer. This will help you resolve any interruptions that stop you from working on Tally Prime. The need for external intervention or support is close to none while using Tally Prime on AWS. Thank you. For more information, visit elcom.digital/help.